Welcome to Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum, known from coast to coast like butter and toast. From headlines to bedlines, from schoolrooms to pool rooms, never in anywhere in the contiguous U.S. or any environs of the world has been a place like this. Welcome. That's where I got screwed up. One more time. from Henry Ford to me, the deuce. There's a picture of the truck I used to have for parades up there. There's a picture of the 1936 Freaks of the Barn and Bailey Circus. Well, Tally Hall Open is probably one of the first food courts in the United States. It started in the 80s, real early 80s. Tally Hall closed down at the end of the 80s or the early 90s. I had this thought and I called it Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Why not, what's a museum? Museum just has older things that people like. The mistake I really made, the kids didn't like it. The kids don't like to go to museums. They want to go to some rock concert or something else. People say, I passed here 50 times. What is this place? Or they call, what is this place? So how am I gonna answer what it is? I say it's like something you've never seen before all types of things for all ages. How much does it cost to get in? It costs nothing to get in but a hundred to get out. Yeah, just a joke, but that's fun a little bit. You can edit these things, can't you? That's one lady who said she she took Martha Stewart and rolled her all rolled her that was her words, rolled her out all over the country. What she wanted to do with that me. She wanted to roll me out all over. But but the thing is, there's so many it's not square, it's so many angles this way and this way and up and down. It's be hard to reproduce a place like this. Uh, this is one of my favorites it's from England. It's called a working model, a guillotine. Now watch carefully what happens to the guillotine. The doors are gonna open and then you'll see the guy with his head with a with the blade coming out and I watch this bang right in the basket. See like this. This is a very sweet machine and if you notice this marquee that was an artist friend of mine that died. Look how beautiful that's all hand yeah, done. Would you like a baby? And, and gold leaf. They just don't do that anymore. They do vinyl letters. Anyway, here, watch this sweet couple. One of my favorites, too. The price of chickens. That's all done with wooden gears and cogs. Are you ready? Hello, blah, 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 blah. I'm here to buy a chicken. Will you show me one of your chickens? And the lady says, here, I got a nice one for sale, this one right here. The lady says, oh no, way too much money. So he said, I'm gonna put it away then. Clever? Not clever? Marvin, lunchtime. You notice I put my name all over. You know why? Because nobody else will. Now this is two pieces. This is called The Last of the Dodo Birds. And this is life's spaghetti eating. Now watch. Chopping up the dodo bird. The sailors want more. And this one, eating spaghetti out of the bathtub while the marinara and cheese sauce comes out of the uh, spigots. A lot of people's favorite. Spanish Inquisition. Tortured by flogging, by iron bolting, by uh, cutting the head off, by stretching. Now I found people either like horror things or love things. That's what they usually like. It's from the 30s, from England. Today I deal with the daily running of the business here at Marvin's. 
all the fun headache stuff, the bookkeeping, dealing with the employees, ordering and stuff like that. We had a house full of all different kinds of machines. Then in 1980, my mom brought me to Tally Hall when they first opened. And she thought, what a great place for your dad to get some of this stuff out of the house. None of the stuff in the house could be brought out for public display because it was all far too nice to leave unattended for little kids. So we had to go buy all new stuff and take over more space in the house and spend more time away from home running the place. When you have a passion for something, it does affect your family life because you like to spend all your spare time creating and fixing and improving and consequently the children, the wife, they just don't like it that they're made number two or number three priority. So I think the proper way is to make a fixed time for everything. And uh, unfortunately, people with a passion like this don't do that. These are bent because I usually put my feet up here. This head was going to be mounted on top of the clock. All this we have now. Then my head was going to, sh on a pole, would shoot up, spin around, another pole on the top, the hair would fly up. And all the time, top here, there'd be a jet of water coming out. And by the time it hits the air, it vaporizes. So it looks like steam coming out of there. They didn't go for it because they said it was a traffic violation. See, I got a tattoo is white. See, sometimes I open my mouth. See it? Can you see it? Some of these artists are just a definition of artists. They're really creative and uh, they make things that people like. Watch this. The ringmaster. I just missed his head. I really love this thing. Great action. Rod Fuller, England. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And I, I want to I just run this through, see if it works. First, you see some men riding on a trolley car. Then from nowhere comes a spaceship. The spaceship comes out, and then it turns black. The spaceship lands, it goes, and guess what? If you look very carefully, you'll see that an alien has taken over one of the spots. Clever, Keith Newstead. The disgusting spectacle. What's nicer than a piece like this? A beautiful piece, all made out of tin. He's uh, washing, uh, drying the socks on the propeller. It's true art because most of them are one of a kind. They're all made by hand. Somebody thought of it at home, just started drawing up sketches, and they didn't buy parts out of a catalog. They sat there and created all the parts themselves. We get people coming in from all over the world here, I, just because of what a unique place we are. You know, it's not just about making money. It's about seeing people happy, giving things back to people, and doing something different. Did you ever feel overwhelmed by your stuff? Yeah, when I actually when I wasn't feeling good, I did feel overwhelmed because there was just too much I couldn't get out from all the stuff. Uh, these are crazy automatons. You see this? I met this girl Lucy in England. She makes these things to watch. <laughs> see, here he grabs that lady. And chicks are so much that their eyes pop out. You see the eyes popped out? You see it? Evolutionary blunder. Well, this spins around here. Before developing fangs and branching out into movies, the vampire bat had a hard time scaring anybody. See? Isn't that funny? See, there's a display at the Jewish Center Art Gallery. 1904. The dolls of Magda Watts. I told me that Marvin, you go up the uh, But I had these. See how they cramped in this room? From pictures, see how she made me? <laughs> She's so funny. Look what she made me here. The chase is the best part. Once, it, once you get it, it sits there with all the dust. But Chasing, remember how you got it, and, and thinking about it, and that's the best part of collecting. Everybody's notable. I, I mean, maybe there's some people are luckier than most to get the notoriety, but 
you know, so over these years, Grand Hill, who used to be with the, the Pistons, loved the place, was in all the time, and loved to play with the kids, too. They challenged him in the game. And David Carfield, who's a friend of mine, collected. Eminem had a birthday party there. Jack White from the White Stripes. Robert Shapiro, who was the lawyer for, uh, Restricted. I don't like to answer restricted. Yeah. Hello? I think it's better when you don't plan things because you get too disappointed in things. But I, this wasn't planned, it just grew. Started one little machine, and then two, and five, and six, and then I got really hurt when Tally Hall closed. I had this big plethora of machines, I didn't know what to do with them. Only thing I'd probably do is like to have a bigger place to display more things, not get rid of them. But on the other hand, big is not better, it's it's better is what's better, I think. I like that quote, better is better. <laughs>